Let's take a look at the Surf and Turf card. Like all the Grim cards, the Surf and Turf is stainless steel and is thin enough and small enough to fit in a credit card slot of your wallet or a small personal survival tin. This white backer peels off and this is a permanent adhesive side. So you can stick this to something and it's going to be there all the time. All of these tools come right off the cards. And the first time you take a tool off, there's usually a little metal tab. And you just wiggle through that tab. And then all the tools are going to be usable. And you can put them back on the card using the tool retention system. Just line them up, give it a press, and it's going to stay there until you need it next time. So I've got a lot of experience with this full-size Surf and Turf's baby brother. So the mini Surf and Turf is included in the Grim Workshop hunting kit. And a hunting kit is the slingshot sling bow combo. And it includes a tin of ammunition and the card with the mini Surf and Turf. And I have shot those into targets. I've shot those into downed trees. I've even used the gigs as an improvised fishing sling bow and shot them into floating targets and was able to retrieve the target. So it's a heck of a card and I would expect the exact same results, if not better, from the full size surf and turf. So we're going to pull out the two trade points first. Here's one of the two barbed arrow heads that is serviceable in this orientation as just a trade point. The other one has a small split down the top where they actually nest together. So this is a heck of an arrowhead right here. This is about an inch wide, just a little bit under an inch and it's about two and three quarter inches long. So quite a surface to this head. And you can see we're barbed all the way along here. And then these barbs here are reverse. So the reverse barb, what that does is actually stops the arrow's penetration. So a lot of times when you're using a heavier weight bow on smaller game, the arrow is just gonna zip right through it. And it's gonna make it a lot harder for tracking. So this barbed head, once you get into the first barb, it's not backing out. and once you sink it to these forward barbs, the arrow is going to resist over penetrating. So you're almost guaranteed to have this head and the arrow shaft sticking out of the animal. So this is a very effective head and this is definitely in the survival only category. Most states uh, have outlawed barbed arrowheads a long, long time ago. But in an emergency situation, anything goes and this is going to absolutely help you track an animal with an arrow and a barbed head sticking out of it. To make this trade point work even better, they do nest together and that's going to give you your maximum damage on your target. So these, these press together and it's a pretty tight fit. I'm going to push it the rest of the way on the bench behind me. So here's the head nested and that is definitely impressive. This head is going to do a number on any game animal you happen to stick this into. You've got four different cutting surfaces. You've got barbs on all sides. You've got your over penetration barbs in the back, similar to a game stopper that they used to sell years ago for arrowheads. So this thing is definitely, definitely a winner. You have to look pretty close to even see a line at all. This is almost a perfect fit. So the craftsmanship on this head is outstanding. And even when you shoot it, you're still able to take it apart and put it back in the card. That's probably the most impressive. But that is absolutely your most effective arrowhead versus medium and small game. So with the arrowheads off the card, we can see I've got two gig heads. So that's a pretty impressive gig head right there. This is about three inches long and about one inch wide. So this is still plenty big enough where you could attach this to a stick or a staff and use this as a hand gig. And it's properly sized for an atlatl, I would 100% also put this on an arrowhead. This has great lashing points on the back side to help you attach it to the stick. This is not an overly large gig at all, but if you were to hit slightly off center and only hit one tine into your target, it's still barbed all the way through, so you're going to be able to recover that. If you were to get both tines in, it's a guarantee. There's no chance this animal is slipping off. And the great thing about this design is if you were after smaller frogs or crawfish or smaller fish and they went down the center, so you could have missed, you could have maybe just got a leg instead of a main body hit, or it just could be a small, small animal. As this goes, this tapers down 
and eventually it's going to taper out force the animal to go back up and you're going to catch it in a bar so outstanding design with this this works for large as well as small animals the gig heads are large enough that you could just attach this to a stick and just go gigging around like normal and this is large enough where this could be a medium game spear but for maximum effectiveness, if you plan on making a bow, carrying a bow, or using a sling bow, then I would absolutely plan on packing the Surf and Turf card. You've got covered inland, on water. This is the sweet spot of medium game, small game, as well as amphibians and fish along the water's edge. So if a bow or a sling bow is not in your plans, all is not lost. That one inch wide by three inch long gig head as well as our barbed arrow point. Either put together or as a single it would work out excellent as an atlatl as well. An atlatl is much easier to make off the landscape, but there's a skill level that's required for that. So if you're willing to put in your time and practice a little bit, this would work with an atlatl just as well. So when you're in the wilderness, if you normally have gear with you, like most people do, and you've got all your survival bases covered for the most part, consider adding a card that's a specialty card. This card is going to help you gather food. If you live in a desert, this may not be my first choice, but in my area where I've got ponds and streams and creeks and rivers and lakes, the Surf and Turf card is going to have me covered on land or on the water. 